Their son Ian rang up. He's thinking about Jammu and Grump. Happy fifth wedding anniversary. That's for Saturday. Uh, come and join us, won't you? The tour tent is up. It's pitched, and we've got a very important man to meet now, who we first met in Abingdon. His name is Jared. Uh, Jared Rebo. Uh, in Abingdon, we met this bloke you see in charge of an amazing flying machine. It was a quadcopter then. Well, Jared has been at it again, and he's produced something rather special for our picnic. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. You remember Abingdon, don't you, on the big tour in the marketplace when we sort of caused a bit of a stir? <laughs> yes, I do indeed. That was a quadcopter then? Yes, four what motors. You, yeah, four motors. What have you built now? This is an octocopter, and if you deduce, you get eight motors. Eight motors, you see, on yes. an octocopter, you see. Well, uh, describe it for everybody. It looks great. And he only finished it last night. He was up all night finishing it in time for the picnic. What a wonderful man he is. Yes. Um, so... Again, uh, with my previous analogy, imagine a helicopter with four propellers in a square. This one, imagine an octagon or something with eight propellers. Um, I suppose you could best describe it as a spider with propellers on its feet or something. <laughs> how, how high can it fly? Um, it can fly pretty much as high as the batteries will take it, so if I'm controlling it, it should be able to go two and a half miles. Two and a half miles? Yes. At what height? I have no idea. Two <laughs> We're about to find up. out. Oh, two and a half miles up. Uh, so, so can it fly for two and a half miles as well? Yeah, it, yeah general range from the transmitter, I can control it for two and a half miles, and it's not really limited by altitude so much. Are these your own designs, sir? Uh, yeah, I, I designed those on the laser cutter using Fitzharry School's laser cutter. Uh, my kind teacher lets me use it. Which school's that? Uh, we should give them a mention. Fitzharry School. Yeah, well yeah. Done tech yeah. department. Yes. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> Why is there a cup on top of it? Well, one of the students wanted to know if a cup could stay on top of the copter without falling over. Ah, one of my and primary school children. Yeah, yeah They're um, into everything today. Beware. They're setting everybody challenges. Yes, there's actually uh, people who do stunts with the cups on the copters. Because the, the way gravity and physics works, the cup is always being pushed down onto the copter because oh. the propellers are always pushing up. Yes. So as long as you have something heavy in the cup, although unfortunately they have a few stones, <laughs> it should stay on. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> it's an unscientific by. social experiment live on the radio. There's a camera, isn't there? There usually is in yes. your... Um, there's your a devices. Live, live camera feeding down to my laptop, yeah. which the students are now watching. Okay. Um, there's also video glasses set up there. Um, video glasses. Listen, listen to this. Yes. Um, so you can watch through the glasses or on the screen. Um, and the camera's recording on the copter. Jared, you're a genius. What are you? A genius. A uh, genius. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat reluctant, but a genius anyway. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the picnic so far. Will you fly it for us? I'll give it a go. Yeah. yeah. Is this its maiden voyage? Uh, this is the third flight. Uh, the first two were 30 seconds long. Well, oh dear. <laughs> well, it's about time it was officially christened. May I do the honours? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I name this octocopter Malcolm. Malcolm. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. God bless him. I wonder where the um, imagination for that name came from. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, you'd be surprised what goes in in this little head of mine. Yeah, May God yeah. bless him and all who fly in him. OK. <laughs> yes. Off we go, Jared. Okay, so now, there's an octopus... Uh, imagine an octopus with a propeller on each... Yes, on I'm each just going to get an orientation. Oh, it's just going to get an orientation. I don't know what that means. Oh, the wind's got up, yes. OK, so the propellers are going. There's a propeller on each tentacle of this octocopter. And very, very gently, the propellers are going. You can hear it now. And very gently and very slowly... Oh, Malcolm, the octo... Oh, the cop's gone. The cop's gone. That's one experiment out the window. The octo... Octocopter flies into the air of Oxfordshire. It was only made overnight by Jared. He makes these things. He is a genius. And uh, up it goes and off it goes. Blimey, that was a quick bit of acceleration. It hovered over the picnic field. It looked at the assembled crowd. It thought, I'm getting out of here. And up it goes. Now that's gone quite a height, Jared. That has, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I can go much, much higher. Go on. <laughs> I'm a higher, scared, higher. So, seeing as it's new flights and everything, but yeah. I'll give it a go. No, just, you know, don't overdo it. We don't want it crashing. There it goes, high into the Oxfordshire sky. And I wonder what we can see on the camera. Let's go across to the children here of Watlington. You can see the car park? Yeah. I should think you can. We're not far away from that. But uh, above, it's great, isn't it? Look how high we are now. How high are we, Jared, with that? Say on the screen on the computer if you look at the uh, head up display because it's giving live telemetry to the computer. How high does it say it is on the computer? Can you see that? It'll tell you in meters. It'll tell you in meters, I'm told. It's a great craft. Yes, yes, and the best part is, is it's got GPS built in. 
I see. So, uh, although I haven't tested this out yet, it should be able to hold itself in position if I flip the switch to altitude lock. This is um, autopilot. It may crash because I haven't tested it, but I'll give it a go. It won't crash. Have faith in Malcolm. Okay, He's so a decent drone. It's now in GPS hold, so no hands. No hands? He's doing it with no hands. Can you make a life-sized one of these? Yeah, you could indeed. In fact, people have videos on YouTube of man-sized ones. Okay. Should we bring Ooh. it into land? Yeah, sure. Let's bring it into land now. I'm going to actually... Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me, Jared. Oh, it seems to be having developing a life of its own. Uh, it's just because uh, not configured properly yet. That's okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes Malcolm the drone after its maiden-ish flight in Oxfordshire. Hello, Malcolm. You've done very well. Many congratulations. You can land now. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Jared, well done, sir. So, All yeah, your hard work thanks. hasn't been in vain. You can rest yeah. in peace and have a beef sandwich. <laughs> yes, yes. From the picnic. Well done. Yes, thanks very much. <laughs> Not at all. The things we get up to on the big tour of Oxfordshire. This is the picnic section where we're celebrating.